that was man Dr. Manhattan quote. Alright, well, hey, yeah, Connor, I almost said bang, I don't know why, I think it was because I was talking about high school, like high school nicknames, and that's kind of something I want to talk to you about today, and I realized that my voice is very low, and I'm going to try and speak up so that you guys can hear me, it's probably not going to happen, but oh well, um, Names and nicknames in high school. When I was, was in high school, um, I still, you know, never felt quite right in my body. I was still on the swim team, you know, still wearing somewhat feminine clothing, but I didn't identify in a feminine fashion, I suppose. I think that's what you call it. Um, and so, I chose uh, for the school to call me by a gen somewhat gender-neutral uh, name. I think this started around uh, my sophomore year of um, high school. And, uh, I don't know, somebody was referring to me um, after an incident involving me biting somebody for fun. Uh, so they started calling me Fang. Um, for reasons unbeknownst to me for a good six months. Um, and you know, it just kind of stuck. Um, it was kind of a cool name, you know, nobody really, nobody, there was one, there were, I think there were two kids in the school named Spike. Um, nicknamed Spike. Um, and one kid was really named Spike, and, you know, there was no other crazy person like me in school, um, so the name kind of just, you know, stuck with me, um, my teammates would call me Fang, you know, classmates call me Fang, um, my senior year, I was on the morning announcements, and they would put Fang. Um, one day, I did slip up and tell the entire school my name. That was hilarious. Because, uh, you know, they were like, oh my god, that's it, that's her name. I was like, uh, whatever. Because at this point, I was um, kind of, I, I suppose I was gender queer at the point. I didn't have a name for it. I just... Didn't really identify with one gender or the other. Um, I just felt that, oh, uh, you know, whatever. But you know, as as everything progressed onward, I figured out that you know I don't really feel comfortable. It's not it's not the fact that I'm uncomfortable with who I am. It's that I'm. <sighs> it's uncomfortable with what I am, and that's my problem. Um, so, um, yeah, like, I was, I was just, like, going up, off on tangent right here, but, um, yeah, that's pretty, this is pretty much what I went through in high school. I, I went through a lot of, uh, you know, trying to get people to call me certain things, um, just so that, you know, they'd have something to call me other than my name, because I, I really do hate my name. It pisses me off when my parents say she, and whatever, I mean, but it's just to this point where I can't correct them, um, because they won't have anything to do with it until my name is officially changed and uh, seeing as I can't do that until I get all my financial obligations you know, done with um, I'm not going to really be anything more than 
little girl to them. She always sucks. My brother was. See, my brother, he's like. Kind of, kind of dense about some things. Like he knows, he knows about my situation and everything. But he, at work. All he says is my sister, my sister, my sister. So the guys that work with him at work and need a green card all want to chat me up. Not funny. Um, oh yeah, back to my things. Oh, but I don't know. I I really. I, I think I think that nickname really stuck with me. Like I'm hearing stories from my brother um, that. It wasn't just my brother bringing me up in, you know, in high school now. It's, it's his friends and uh, teachers that would bring me up because I, apparently I made such a Im imprint on the, uh, the daily lives of the student body that, um, that you know, stuff happened. I get. I, I mean, I only showed up in the yearbook like once or twice, you know. Um, you know, it wasn't anything big, you know. Like, you know, what I showed up on the senior picture and maybe a club photo or something. <sighs> but um, you know, everybody pretty much remembers me. Everybody who was there remembers me, and you know that's a kind of good feeling, I suppose. Um. Albeit they remember me for the like crazy stuff that I used to do, like um, like I used to super glue my head to desks, super glue my hands, uh, super glue my mouth shut, my fingers together, um, objects to my forehead. Um, I used to like paint my face. Um, I used to wear like fake beard school. Um I really got in trouble with the goggles uh one year. And uh I don't know, just making parody type parody like uh comic strips. Um it's called the lunchroom. And you know, a good a good population of the school had seen it. Um that it was based on pretty much my lunch hour, uh, I mean my lunch period, um, how we make plans to thwart the student body and leave school early, and you know, we ended up at the end of the season killing off one of the uh, assistant principals, and I got sent to the counselor's office for that, and good thing I didn't get sent to you know, home. Get a referral or something, but you know they they understood it was just all good fun. And, uh, like I mean, or else I wouldn't have made like the characters so realistic and the swords change sizes in every single panel. Like I had something starting off. One second, I'll show you. Started off sword about this size, you know, pretty long sword and then it grew like three times in length. So uh yeah, so that's pretty much it on the stupid things I did in high school pretty much. Um and, you know, other random so yeah. Um that's about it. Uh if you have any questions, comments Musings about times you saw me in high school and I did something stupid and I forgot to mention in this or in this video. Um, please do send me a comment. Uh, I'm kind of tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys.